Hey everybody, Cerebral Tackle back with you again today. Thank you so much for joining us. You know, we have a bit of breaking news, this time coming from Major League Fishing, concerning their Stage 5 event, a Lake Hoga, New York, back June 6th to 11th. Well, there's been a retroactive disqualification, so let's just jump right in. The angler disqualified is none other than Hot Springs, Arkansas pro Spencer Sheffield. Now, Sheffield was disqualified for intentionally removing a hook from a fish's mouth that was caught while sight fishing before showing that fish to his onboard official so that that official could verify that the fish was indeed hooked in the mouth. Now, because of this, he's having to forfeit his winnings, points, standings, even fish weight that goes towards his heavy hitter standings. And you know what? This is no small deal. He was runner-up. Yeah, he come in second place, folks. So this means he's going to be a little lighter in the pocket and the points while everyone else is going to be getting a bump. And you know what? Actually seeing a tournament organization, correct winnings, standings, all that good stuff is a bit refreshing. Because let's face it, we brought it up on this channel before and Bass hasn't wanted to touch this subject with a 10-foot pole. MLF? Looks like at least they're stepping up to do the right thing here. Now see, the investigation was initiated because it was determined some anglers weighed fish before their onboard official could actually determine that that fish was hooked in the mouth. In addition, it was suspected that some anglers may have caught the same fish twice while visually targeting them, you know, sight fishing. That's a huge no-no in MLF. These two particular violations violate rules 9D and 9E of the MLF rulebook. And when incidents like this occur, the MLF Rules Infraction Committee gets to work and does a thorough investigation of the situation. Part of what they do is they interview the anglers, the onboard officials, and anyone else with knowledge in that specific incident. They review all score tracker weights that might be part of the incident in question. They look at all the times of the catches as well as any GPS data associated with them. And they look at any POV footage that the angler might have as well as any live stream and also still photography associated with the angler in question. But whenever the evidence is inconclusive, they bring in a polygraph examiner. And I know what you guys are going to say, but hold on to the end and we'll address that. Now, unlike a lot of tournament organizations, MLF touts that their particular examiner has over 5,000 examinations under his belt and has an extensive background in bass tournament angling. So he's been there and done that. Unlike a lot of organizations who just kind of go out and get the cheapest guy they can find. Now MLF says that as a result of their extensive investigation, several anglers were selected for polygraph examination. Now these anglers fell into one of two groups. The first being the only anglers that could have possibly scored the same fish twice. The second group of anglers fell into those that had the opportunity to manipulate the placement of a hook in a fish that was caught while sight fishing before their onboard official could verify that the fish was indeed hooked in the mouth. And being that MLF could not rule out a possible rule violation based solely upon physical evidence, well, that's when they bring in the old polygraph examiner. Now, during the polygraph examination, four very targeted questions were asked. Question one was, during Bass Pro Tour Stage 5 competition hours on Cuyahoga Lake, did you manipulate hook placement in a bass that you caught while visibly targeting it? Question two, during Bass Pro Tour Stage 5 competition hours on Cuyahoga Lake, did you intentionally conceal a bass from your MLF official or camera operator so that you could manipulate hook placement in the bass? Question three. Did you visibly target, catch, and score the same bass twice in the same day during Bass Pro Stage 5 competition on Koga Lake? And four. Did you visibly see a bass at any point while in the act of fishing for it and subsequently scoring it a second time on the same day of Bass Pro Tour Stage 5 competition on Koga Lake? What happens next is where it gets interesting. Once all the polygraphs were administered and all the results were in, everybody passed but one person, Spencer Sheffield. And allegedly, by MLF officials, he filled both questions 
that had to do with hook manipulation in fish. Those first two questions. Now, like I mentioned before, the rules that govern all this are rules 9D and 9E of the MLF rulebook. This is what they say. Rule 9D states, when a bass is caught while side fishing, it must be verified immediately by the MLF official that it has been hooked on the inside of the mouth before removal of any hooks to be counted in the daily weight. Rule 9E states, when sight fishing, visibly targeting bass, anglers cannot weigh the same bass more than once per day. Catching the same bass while sight fishing more than once per day and weighing it more than once per day may result in loss of weight, loss of fishing time, a fine, or any other penalty as outlined in 3A as determined by the tournament director. Now, Major League Fishing, alongside the Anglers Association, has worked to tighten up the language on these two rules a little bit. It says the same thing, but it's to try to prevent those loophole chuckers from screwing it up for everybody else. I'll read the new rules to you, but as you see, they're pretty much the same. Here's how the updated Rule 9D reads. All bass caught while sight fishing, visually locating a bed or bass, must be hooked inside the mouth and immediately shown to your MLF official for verification before removal of any hooks to be counted in your daily weight. Inside the mouth is defined as when a bass's mouth is closed in its natural position, it will cover the entry point of the hook. To me, that's pretty self-explanatory, but you know how those loophole fellas are. They'll try to stick it in anything. Now, here's how the updated Rule 9E reads, once a bass is located visually, sight fishing, it can only be caught and weighed one time per day per angler. No angler may intentionally catch the same fish twice in the same day. Violation of this rule may result in loss of weight, loss of fishing time, a fine, or any other penalty as outlined in 3A as determined by the tournament director. Now, like I promised, we're going to get to that pesky little polygraph task. I know. You guys are saying they're not admissible in court. Lawsuit, lawsuit. Well, guys, you forget, right? You're talking to an expert on that matter. Remember, my background isn't just in journalism. It also had a few years spent learning neurolinguistics and interview and interrogation, which includes the pre-interview process that is used in polygraph examinations. So, let me tell you where you're wrong. First, partial credit for the class that says they're not admissible in a court. Partial credit. They're not admissible in criminal court. They're admissible in civil court all day long, guys. As far as a lawsuit is concerned, no. Eh. You know why? When he signed off on the rules to fish Major League Fishing, that's a contract. Meaning the rules he signed to is the rules he has to play by. If he doesn't want a polygraph examination determining any possible winnings, then he doesn't need to play. Because when he signs those rules, them's the rules, that's what you got to live by. Sorry, if he takes that to court, they're going to laugh him straight out. So at the end of the day, he really doesn't have a lot of recourse, guys. Although he can scream into a pillow to his heart's content. Remember, folks, all this is alleged and it's what comes from MLF's own press department. Before we go, if you guys could do me a quick solid, please like the video, leave a comment, share, even subscribe. I want to tell each and every one of you how much I appreciate you being here watching today. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and come the weekend, you get to get out there and do some fishing. So until next time we meet, keep it wet.